Hey folks, Nicholas Field here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily calibrate your studio monitors in order to mix a theatrical film. Um, now the reason you might want to calibrate your monitors before you start mixing is basically to try to emulate the theatrical viewing experience. Um, obviously it's the best practice to do a pre-mix in a studio, a small studio like this for example, um, and then bring it to a theatrical dub stage or to an actual theater and tweak the mix from there um, before you deliver it to your client. With that being said, these are the best practices in order to get your system up and running in your home studio. What you're going to need is a SPL meter. If you don't have an SPL meter, you can use a phone app, um, of which I've linked to some below. Uh, you're going to need a pink noise file, which I've linked below, a free download. and uh, you're going to need a metering app for your DAW. Um, I've also linked to a few free plugins below for metering, as well as some paid ones and some trials, so you can you can pick whatever you want. So without further ado, I'm going to go over to my DAW. We're running Ableton. Obviously, there's better uh, DAWs for mixing films, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it'll do. As you can see, I've already brought in the pink noise file, and I've just made a little loop of it. So I'm going to play it for you. It might be a bit loud, so just brace yourself. Three, two, one. Okay. And I put a meter. Right now we're using decibel, which I think is pretty cool. And we're going to play it. And what we want to do is adjust the volume of the pink noise so that it's reading minus 20 dB. Okay. So I'm just slowly turning up the volume here and the decibel readout is right here. Okay. And I'm getting pretty close. So here we're looking at around minus 20, uh, plus or minus like 0.3 dB on either side. So to me that's pretty accurate for my needs. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is grab your SPL meter or your phone and open up your app. And you want to make sure that your SPL meter is set to C weighted decibel readout, okay? Um, and then you want to also ensure that it is uh, set to a slow response time, okay? So this is what mine looks like. And this is me talking, and you can see that it's reading it out live on the screen. Um, and so basically the recommended level for monitoring a film is 85 SPL. And for a small room like mine, that's pretty friggin' loud. So what I like to do is set one level to around 79 and that's where I like to run the mix as I'm working and then I'll set an, a higher level of 85 and what you can do is you can mark this with a little piece of tape on your monitor knob or in my case I have a monitor that has a dim function so I set the dim to read at minus 79 and I set the uh, full volume to be 85 and so then when I'm testing the mix I'll test it at the full volume and listen through a few times to ensure that everything feels good but I'm not mixing at such a high level that it's going to be fatiguing and burn me out too quickly okay so we're gonna do that right now um, I'm gonna mute this microphone so I don't get any feedback and I'm just gonna show you how this works so you're basically gonna hold the SPL meter up to your around your where your ear is and you're gonna keep track of it and bring that monitoring level up to minus 79 and then after minus 85, okay? So I'm muting it now.
<laughs> All right, so that is how you calibrate your studio monitors in order to mix a film. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and I really appreciate it. If this video has been helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Goodbye.